what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the same things. There's 20 people here for the first class. So 20 people here, well done for being self-aware enough to say, do you know what, I've got a lot on my mind. If meditation is going to help me, I'm in the right place. If you've misread the compass and you think it's a mediation class, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> All right, I think that's, there is going to be a few jokes. Obviously, a lot of people come down and say, is this actually a real thing that you're going to do? Uh, yes, it is. Meditation, I find to be really, really helpful in everyday life. And I'll, I'll tell you the reason I, I got started a long time ago. We've only got uh, 20 people here. By the end of the cruise, I will guarantee there'll be up to 60 to 100 people at the class. The first day, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things going on. People are walking around, still trying to find their way. And then by tomorrow, they'll start getting relaxed into their holiday, their experience, and they'll be like, I'm still stressed. Right, I'm gonna go to the meditation class. So that's how it's gonna start. Uh, so it starts off a little bit quieter and it builds and builds and builds. So uh, in case you don't know me before, my name's Cody, I'm your cruise director. And a lot of people have been thinking, well, why is this guy teaching meditation? All right, so I'm always very honest. About four years ago, I went through a very tough part of my life um, for stress, anxiety, uh, anxiety, worry, overthinking things uh, and it spiralled out of control um, and I, I had a little bit of a mini nervous breakdown to be honest with you uh, and I started reading a lot of books, got to a certain point my wife's like I can't really help you anymore and, and I was like okay fair enough, like, we got into a really bad place and I said right I'm going to have to start reading books so I started reading a lot of books on stress, anxiety, worry, overthinking things uh, and I found out that every one of those books references meditation. I'm like, well, if all these books are mentioning meditation, I'm going to have to give it a try. So I find a very simple, uh, basic breathing meditation, which is what I'm going to teach today. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to tell you what happens to you when you first start meditating. Because if, if I was going to tell you how to meditate, you would do it. A lot of you would be like, can't do this, it's not for me. You would leave and you would never do it again. So I, I tell you and explain to you what's going to first happen to you when you first start meditating and how much easier it gets through the amount of time of practicing. So the actual process of meditation is the easiest thing in the world. And when I tell you what you're going to do for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you'll be like, really? That's it? Absolutely. That is how easy it is. But it takes practice to make it till you get yourself into a state of total awareness with no thought. That's what the art of meditation is. And it's the no thought part that everybody's like, no chance. And I'm going to explain why we have the thought process that we have. And your thought process is the internal monologue. This conversation that we all have, everybody has it, but make sure we're very clear on this, everybody has an internal monologue. If you are hearing voices, that is something completely different. All right, and we can discuss that after the class if you wish. All right, but we all have an internal monologue this voice that goes on and on and on on a daily basis and quite frankly, it's exhausting, all right? And it's quite self-debilitating as well. It can be, oh, I can't do this, you're not gonna do this and why does this person do this and oh, what happened in the past and I keep going back to it and I can't change things and then, oh, well, it's something I've got a bill to pay in a couple of weeks time and oh, there's this problem. It's just this constant worry, stress, anxiety and it builds up and it never ever goes quiet. So what I'm going to teach you is a very simple trick to be able to, what we call that is your monkey mind. The irrational part of your mind, this conversation, we symbolize it as your chimp, your monkey. And your monkey goes taka 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 all day long, just doesn't stop. So what we do for meditation is I give you a little tip just to give your monkey something to do so you can distract your chimp. Good morning, how are you? Come and join us, we're, not, we're just having a little chat about things. You are in the right place. Your path brought you to the right place. That would be a Buddhist joke for you. All right, that was two jokes in only the first five minutes. All right, uh, so that's what we got for you. This is what we're gonna teach you and this is where the, the monkey meditation uh, comes from. Uh, and like I say, it's such an easy thing to do but it does take practice. So it's all about your thought process. The internal monologue we all have will be something that's happened into the past or it'll be something that's gonna happen into the future. And either way, you've got no control over either. If it's something that happened in the past, you can't go back to it. It's happened. All you can do is learn from it. But you can't go back. You can't ask, what if? What if I'd have done something differently? You didn't. It's in the past. It's done. It's dusted. Learn from it. And as Frozen once said, let it go. Okay? Really good song for a lot of people, in all fairness. I can't tell you how much of a good song it is, all right? Or your stress will be something about happening, something that's going to happen in the future and you'll be worried about it. 
And when you, when you break it down, 99% of everything you actually worry about, something that happens in the future, never happens, never, it never fulfills. So you can have all this worry and this stress, and I'm worried about this and I'm worried about this. 99% of everything you think about never actually happens. So there's a lot of stress and anxiety broiled up in that, okay? So what we'll do is we'll teach you the basic uh, meditation at the end of the class, and every class will be the same, and I'll teach the same uh, tips for you for meditation. So when we get new people, it's nice to go over it and over it again. So it gets, and it just gets easier and easier and easier, all right? So we're gonna teach you a basic breathing meditation. And we need to give your chimp something to do to distract it. Because your thought process is emotionally driven. Tip number one, you can't control your emotions. You can only understand them. Your emotions are too strong, uh, too strong, too powerful, but you can understand them. And that's where the breathing meditation is. We're going to focus on the breath. The breath is the here, the now, the present, the only thing you've actually got control over. So that's where the part of the breathing comes into. So you're going to focus on the breath. And I always use, I always use the internal conversation that we have. And I, I, you, a lot of the stories that I'll tell you is a lot of stories what happened between me and my wife. All right. So uh, a long time ago, uh, when we used to go and eat in the windjammer, we would go for dinner and we would sit down and we would eat. And after they finished the meal, I'd say, right, I'm going back to work. My wife would say, thanks for the conversation. And I knew she was being sarcastic. You could hear the tone in the voice. I knew she was being sarcastic. So I said, what do you mean? We just sat down, we ate, we had a conversation, I'm going back to work. And she would be like, no, no, no. We've just sat down, we've eaten. You've talked to yourself internally for the past hour. I asked you seven questions, you answered two of them. You weren't anywhere near the conversation. And as I say that conversation, I will see a couple of couples that will go, that's you, that is, that's exactly what you do. Which is why we're here at meditation. That's why we're here at the meditation part. All right, because we get lost in this thought process, this conversation where we internalize everything. There's probably already going to be a few gentlemen here thinking, oh, he's going to be talking about feelings. This makes me feel uncomfortable. All right, but it is a big part of it. All right, so when <laughs> the gentleman looks behind you, I feel uncomfortable. The guy's talking about feelings. Uh, so it is, I'm going to teach you the basics of the breathing meditation and all you're going to do, and this is how easy it is, is you're going to focus on the here, the now, the present. And you're going to focus on the breath. There's a sensation to the breath that you're going to feel. And then you're also going to count the breath. And the reason you count your breath is purely, it's a distraction for your thought process, your chimp. You need to give your chimp something to do, because if not, it's just going to carry on. It's just going to carry on, taka, 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 talking, 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 okay? So just for you to get into a, a nice, comfortable position, just we're going to focus on the sensation of the breath of one breath. You're going to breathe in through your nose, through your nostrils. And as you breathe in, you're going to feel the sensation of the breath as it enters the nostrils. So that's one focus of the breath is the sensation in. That makes you more aware of the here, the now. Then when you breathe out, you're going to breathe out through your mouth and you're going to purse your lips as if you're blowing out a candle. And you will feel the sensation of the breath as it leaves the lips. So that's one part of the focus. The second part of the focus is you are going to count your breath as you breathe in. And you're going to count one, two, three. And the whole part of the breathing has to be comfortable for you. Everybody has a different breathing pattern. So your count could be one, two, three, one, two, three. Or it could be one, two, three. It's whatever is comfortable for you. And the count is the misdirection for the chimp. You need to give it something to do. Because if not, your chimp is going to sit there going, this is not working. This is the worst 20 minutes of my life. Why am I doing this? So you need to give it something to do. All right? So just feel the first sensation of the breath. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. The breath is the elixir of life. You will already feel more relaxed off the one breath in. The breath and the oxygen will automatically calm your mind in any kind of situation you do. 
So we're going to do that. Now I'm going to explain to you what is going to first happen to you when you first start meditating. Just so that you are aware of it, so that you don't sit there and go, this is terrible, I'm never doing this ever again, this doesn't work for me. After a minute you will count, your count will be fine for the first one minute, two minutes, three minutes. After three minutes, or however angry your chimp is, your conversation will start again. In fact, your mink, monkey, your chimp will hold on and go, no, I'm not doing this, I'm not counting, no, I need to talk. If I don't talk, then there's no point being here. This is what your conversation will do. However, what you'll find after a week, maybe two weeks of meditating, that's how quick the change in yourself will be. What you'll find is after a week of doing it, two weeks of doing it, your chimp will start saying, excuse me, excuse me. I'd like to meditate, I need to, I need to shut up, I need to shut up. It would really help, it would help all of us in this way. And that's the beauty of meditation, it's that quick, you will notice such a difference in yourself. You really, really will. All right? So much so, especially for relationships, is my wife now knows if I'm off to meditate, she says, it's fine, I'll leave you alone. That's perfect, I know it works, I'll leave you alone. And she'll leave me alone, she won't talk to me for 20 minutes, which is perfect. Granted, I'm meditating 27 times a day, <laughs> but that was joke number four <laughs> for you. All right, there's always a levity to it, all right? But it really is gonna, you're gonna find it so beneficial. So this is what I'm gonna ask you to do, and this is the tip to meditation to make it successful for you. When you first start meditating, you start doing the count, and don't forget that count is internal. Don't sit there going, one, two, three, because that's probably not gonna annoy just your chimp, it'll annoy everybody else's chimp around you as well. So it's an internal, quiet count. It's a distraction for your thought process you're gonna give it something to do. Don't forget, after a couple of minutes, your conversation will start again. And this is the tip to meditation. Acknowledge it. Okay, I've stopped counting. Do not interact with the conversation. Don't let it keep going. Stop it. And this is the tip. Reset and bring it back to the breath. That's all you have to do. And you're all thinking, that's so easy. But your chimp is really sneaky. It will have already started a conversation without you realising it. You'll actually think you're still counting, but your thought process has already started again. And this is why it's perfectly fine when you're meditating to cough, scratch, make a noise and reset as many times as you need. Okay? So don't think, don't sit there going, oh, I can't cough, it's going gonna, it's gonna to annoy somebody. Uh, no, cough, let it out, it's fine. Sometimes that little bit of a noise, that little bit of a jerk, uh, can realign you anyway and you'll be like, oh, the conversation already started without even realising. Okay, so acknowledge it, do not interact with the conversation, reset and bring it back to the breath. And that's the tip to meditation. And when you first start meditating, you might have to reset 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. If your chimp is so loud, you might have to reset 375 times the first time you meditate. However, I guarantee you now, after a week of doing it, after two weeks of doing it, you will only have to reset once, twice, three times. If you've had more of an annoying day, quite a stressful day, you might have to reset four, five, six times a day. But it will get less and less because your chimp, your thought process will understand, I need to meditate. At first, it's not going to like it because it needs to be heard. But the more you acknowledge it, do not interact with it, reset, bring it back to the breath, you will find it easier and easier. And at the end of every class, I'll give you some little tips that can make your life easier. Okay? So what we're going to do before you get started, is I'm going to ask everybody to sit with their backs nice and straight against their chairs. Don't be slouching down. I'm going to tell you a few things that might happen when you first start meditating. First thing is, you, you don't actually, I just put my hands behind me just for comfort as you don't actually have to copy exactly what I'm doing, you're fine, I just realised. Uh, first thing that might happen is you might fall asleep. When you first start meditating, you'll probably fall asleep. Perfectly natural, perfectly normal. If you start snoring, don't worry about it. It won't annoy people as much as you think. Okay, catch yourself, reset, bring it back to the breath. Okay, meditation is not sleeping, it's not having an afternoon nap. All right, again, meditation is to be able to sit in a state of total awareness with no thought. And again, when you first start meditating, you will have a lot of chimp action. 
you will have a lot of conversations. It's perfectly fine, it's perfectly normal, it gets easier and easier and easier, okay? And like I say, at the end of the class, we'll start talking about a few things that might help you in case you react to certain things and we'll, we'll give you a few tips to, to make you have a better life, more fun, all right? So close your eyes, sit with your backs nice and straight against the uh, chairs. It's your first time at meditation, it's absolutely fine, but if you've just drunk a coffee, which some people might have, when you sit first meditating, you might feel like you can hear your heart pounding in your ears. That's the caffeine, that's not the meditation. All right, for the next class, make sure you don't drink any coffee uh, just before you come into the class as it will make it a lot easier for you. Sit with your feet nicely planted on the floor. Don't have anything in your hands. If you've got a cruise compass, if you've got a camera, cup, soda cup, just put it on the floor, just put it to the side. You don't need to be holding on. Don't forget, as Frozen once said, let it go. Such is life. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. So I'm going to put some music on in the background. I will talk to you a few of, uh, for the first few minutes of the meditation. And then after that, it's going to be on you. Okay, and then we'll tell you some good times to meditate after we've finished. So the first thing that might happen to you when you first start meditating is you might fall asleep, catch yourself, wake yourself up. The second thing that might happen to you when you first start meditating is you might get more angry, you might get more stressed because your chimp is going to go, no, I'm not doing this. No, I'm not doing it. This is silly. Acknowledge it. Reset. Bring it back to the breath. And the third thing that might happen when you first start meditating, and I'm going to have to say this for the fellas, you might get a little bit emotional. You might do. It's perfectly normal. We hold things in. We're the hunters. We're the gatherers. We don't talk about feelings. Frozen said it best. Let it go. Everybody close your eyes. Take one deep breath in through your nose if you can. And out. And you're going to focus on the here and the now. Not something in the past, not something in the future. There's always going to be some kind of noise. The music's going to be in the background. Focus on your breath, which is the here, the now, the present. Not something in the past or something in the future. Start counting your breath as you breathe in. Two, three, and out. Two, three. Don't get into an argument with a chimp. Acknowledge it. Do not interact with it. Reset and bring it back to the breath. Your count as you breathe in is the misdirection for your thought process, your chimp, which is emotionally driven. And remember the basics of meditation. When your conversation starts again, of which it will, acknowledge it. Do not interact with it. Reset. And bring it back to the breath.
Take a deep breath in. And out. Wiggle your toes. Shake your tush. Arms up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Wow. Few questions for you when it's the first time, especially when you're first time meditating. First question. Without